G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Long gates over 12 feet can be an absolute bonus if you've got to get lots of machinery through your fences or make sharp turns. But there's a bit of a problem with long gates and most of you with one will know what this is. They tend to drag on the ground and all sorts of fixes are made to try and solve this problem, but most of them don't work, like mine. I added a simple dolly wheel a few years back with a homemade mount, but it's got problems. The first one being, it hits the gate post and won't let the gate open outwards. The second being, it jams up with stones and often creates problems opening the gate of its own. Of course, the obvious solution is to cut out the gate put a frame in and put a huge wheel in here. And you can buy gates like that, but they're incredibly expensive because they're difficult for the manufacturers to transport. And anytime you cut the gate open by yourself, you're gonna create rust problems down the track and a whole heap of work. I thought surely there must be a better solution. Well, as it turns out, maybe there is. I'm trying out the gate wheel today made by Quick Fence in Warwick in Queensland. Let's open up the box, see what you get in the kit, take the gate off, fit this, and see if it solves the problem. As usual guys, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and check out timthompson.ag for this and other great fencing products. Righto, let's see what you get in the kit. Oh look, instructions, isn't that cute? Now you get your two pieces of gate wheel. They come separate from each other so that they can slide over the frame without having to cut it. You get what looks to be two axle brackets and a bag of bolts, including what looks like a couple of locking sleeves for when you finish. Let's take the gate off now and get this little nifty wheel all set up and see what we think of it. The next thing we have to do is attach our gate to a nice flat level surface and tie it down so that we can work on it. I'm using this feeder that I'm making out of an IBC. Watch out for that in an upcoming video. And you can see with this homemade wheel that it's kind of been working, but it's still kind of been dragging. It's pretty difficult to get tolerances right when you're banging something up out of scrap. Now for the next step, you've got to cut out your bottom line wire. You could use a pair of bolt cutters, but where's the fun in that? Now this next step might not be important, but I'm just going to lubricate the two axle shafts just with a little bit of grease. It's important to note where the welds are. There's actually a slightly longer section and that's where the wheel actually goes. So we want to put that on to the inside of the two axle brackets like so. So now I'm just going to hold them in place at the side that doesn't maintain the wheel and we'll start setting up our wheel. Same again with the wheel. Make sure that the welds are pointing out each side and bring them together like two Pac-Man straight over the top of the axle. Now we just bolt this axle and the wheel together with the supplied nuts and bolts. I found it really handy to use a Phillips head screwdriver just to even up the holes for the bolts to go through before I started screwing it together. I put in all the bolts and nuts rather loosely at the start, starting with the axle plates and then once I'd got them all into position, I went round and nipped them all up to a nice tight tension, making sure that it doesn't come apart. The next step is installing the two location collars, one on either side of the wheel, and for that, you're gonna need a 3 8 bit. The collars take two tech screws each, just drilled straight into the frame.
So the final verdict, how does it roll? One finger operation and critically, I've now got a gate that opens in either direction again. This product looks to be a bit of a winner. I mean, quite seriously guys, this could save a divorce. Don't forget if you like this video, hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, helps out the channel immensely. And if you want to find out about products like this and more, head over to timthompson.ag. I'm just going to be playing with this gate until next week. It's so good.